If I could again, as I said, today's program on Faith Matters, we're focused specifically on the allegations which are raised against the Amdiya Muslim community. And uh, Shahid Amitabh from Wandsworth, London, has actually raised some, a series of questions. And uh, Shahid, Jazakallah for sending in your questions. Um, from a non md friend that has been raised with himself. And the first of these is on uh, Islamic terminology. And um, the allegation is Amdis do not always use Islamic terms like we use Allah instead of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instead of just saying Allah or we don't use the term uh, you know we don't give the Dawah for coming and joining Islam uh, we say Tablih um, which is un-Islamic according to his friend and proof that and these aren't Muslims as I saw you know, I, I lived in Pakistan for about six years. Okay. When I was a, when was that? Just uh, as a student in, in the, the early. Uh, I'm 80s. not asking you to reveal your age. Yeah, yes, here, yes. No, no, I don't <laughs> mind. You know, we, we are we are truthful people. You know, Indeed. I, I'm already married, so I've crossed that river. <laughs> <laughs> Mashallah. Uh, Subhanahu wa taala. I'm now married. Huh? <laughs> I can we can we can say these terms. But, but during that period of time, mm -hmm. I saw the genesis of this argument. Because here we were, as a peace-loving community, not attempting to overly assert ourselves in a, in a nation, but practice our faith within our rights. And yet suddenly, the government made a, a, a declaration and a decision that anyone who dares claim to be an Ahmadi and somehow links themselves to the practices and the terminology of Islam can be imprisoned, can forfeit their freedom to move in society, or perhaps even be given the punishment of death. So uh, just uh, to, before uh, you move on, just to focus on that point, uh, for our viewers, particularly those who aren't um, the Muslim viewers, and there are many of them, and you're welcome yeah. here on Faith Matters. That's, uh, so the government actually made or passed legislation yes. which irrespective of what they thought of Amdiya beliefs yes. despite was actually saying that Amdiyas you behave like Muslims you yes. act like Muslims yes. you practice Islam and yes. we don't want you to yes prior to this time as I was living then I'm saying my own personal experience of being in the country at that moment when this decision was being made prior to that every house of worship which I entered which was built by the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat was called Masjid Every book that they produced that said is the word of, of Sharia of Holy Prophet Muhammad was called Quran. Every one of us used the greetings of Assalamu Alaikum. Everyone else, you used the, the normal terminology that you find in Islam. I was in an institution being trained and being taught these terms that when you use this expression, this is the things you say. And we were being prepared to be missionaries, Mubashir, uh, Mubalir, those who would go to our countries or any country to preach Islam, to do da'wah. You know, yeah. and and at that time there was a scheme to create the da'i. Yeah. The da'i was those who would be the normal preachers to go forth in America, to Europe, to Asia, Africa, wherever, and preach. And we were being asked to create da'wah centers wherever our nations were outside of Pakistan, so that there should be a place where one can come and learn about Islam, an information source. So I found it quite striking that now the government has imposed a law and a restriction that do not dare call that place a masjid now can only be a bad. You know, do not call your Quran the Quran or print and publish it and spread it far and wide because this is linking to Islam. Do not use terminology. Do not say assalamu alaikum or do not say bismillah rahman rahim Do not write it on your invitations. And, and mm -hmm. this is where the, the first idea of any kind of regulation or restriction was being, being created. And, th and then just linked to that, it wasn't just stopping and prohibiting, it was actually punishing. Punishing also. Through that particular piece of legislation. Exactly. So in a rather ironic way, whereas the questioners actually asked, why do MDs not use these terminologies? Because if you are Muslims, you should. Well, yes. we do, and we yes. continue to do yeah. so. Continue Yet these laws so. are being passed, are being which passed. actually make it illegal to actually use the terms. Right, but everywhere outside of that small limited piece of geography on earth, and you see an Amity, or you see the Amity community, all of these terminologies are, are being used. Strangely enough, even our center in Qadian, Indeed. at its inception, had a department of Dawat al Tabliq, Dawat al Islam. After the, the pressure of the local mullahs you know, was put upon them, they had to change it to Ishar or Tabliq. Mm -hmm. So the name itself of Dawah was being used, the terminology is there, you see it in our <coughs> writings. So it's unfortunate that someone would bring this allegation without having. The true content. Done, done the, we say, yes. fact-checking. 
you know go in in ata burhanukum in kuntum sariqum bring your proof do not just make a statement bring proof bring evidence of such allegations which are at the root cause again the sentiments of a muslim oh you claim to be a muslim but this you don't say this you don't do that you, how can you claim to be muslim it's a sentiment Indeed. They're, 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 it's somewhat ironic. I know gr growing up in the West myself, you know, one of the things that the more modernistic Muslims used to say of my parents was don't teach your children when we pick up the phone and you have it in Islamic households, you know, mm -hmm. the greeting is assalamu alaikum and they said, well, what if it's someone English calling you? And they said, well, yeah. they can say hello afterwards. Yes, At least yes, they've yes, uh, yes. conveyed peace upon them. Yes, but yes. Just picking up on that point, though, here, you know, the allegation itself, I think, has been answered already in, in the sense that in the small part of the world it's actually made illegal. But I would add that and the Muslims continue to profess their faith, practice their faith because of the courage provided. But linked to this, the sort of questioner goes on to actually say that this issue of giving dawah, doing tabliq, ordinary amdis are not allowed to do preaching. We have two mubalighin, missionaries here. Um, but what the allegation there is that if Munir is not a missionary, I'm not a missionary, we're not actually allowed to do this kind of thing. I mean, the question is wrong anyway. I mean, to say un-Islamic, the word Allah, to say un-Islamic, the word tab tablik, these are Arabic words. And obviously, if you look in the Holy Quran, you don't see this phrase, you see the word Allah. And tablik obviously means one who calls someone to Allah, which is a duty of each and every one of us, whether we are missionaries or not. This is the duty again given to us by the Holy Quran. Mm -hmm. Now, I was there at the time mm -hmm. when Azza was there and saw this foolishness that was going on. And I remember, I'm sure Azza remembers, there was one incident, for instance, where there was an invitation card, a wedding invitation card. Now, you know, when you have wedding cards, you have Bismillah, and you have the name of all the people for prayers or whatever. Of course. Because Bismillah was written on this wedding invitation, every one of those people mentioned below were put in prison. So the ones on the RSVP were yeah, in prison? they were all put in prison, okay. including a six-month-old baby. This is the okay. foolishness of it. There was another time I remember where they, uh, there's so many sentences, but yeah. where they wanted to wipe out the kalama from the mosque. Although the Holy Quran is very clear, That's do not prohibit the name of Allah on your mosque. They wanted to wipe out the kalama. Oh, how can Amadis have the kalama there? So they went to the policeman and they said to the policeman, can you wipe out the kalma from the mosque? And they said, we can't do this. This is the kalma. So there's the foolishness. They went into the Christian and they asked the Christian, can you do this? He said, I have no objection, but let me ask my priest, my padre. So he went to his priest and said, they want me to wipe out the kalma from the uh, Amdir mosque. He said, well, as for the name of Allah, don't wipe that out because we believe in one God. Yes. But as for Muhammad, and then you can wipe that out. We don't believe in Muhammad. So, so look how low they've gone. So this is not the case where you can start saying that this person should not be using this terminology or not. Now, I don't know where they've got this idea um, because there are millions of Ahmadis all around the world. Had they uh, listened to every Ahmadi, I don't know what they're basing this on. Mm -hmm. But obviously, this is terminology that we use, and it's up to us how we use it, how we express ourselves. It's the same with Aslanikum, as mentioned by us. You can say Aslanikum, or you can say Aslanikum wa Rahmatullah, you can say wa Aslanikum wa Rahmatullah wa It's up to you. But what the Holy, Prophet, uh, Holy Quran tells us is to give something the same or the better. So we use terminology, and why shouldn't we use the terminology? So I don't know where this questionnaire has got this idea from. But certainly, we believe that we're true Muslims. We don't care what anybody else declares us to and be. nor does someone have a right to declare Well, they haven't. Of course, this is this very is clear in Islam, yeah. that if I say, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, that's it. It's not for anybody to start judging me and saying, I'm not a Muslim. This is something between me and Allah. 